And welcome to the tallest tree in the world. Well, not this actual 12 foot tall little tree here, but you see California redwood is a species that produces the tallest trees in the whole world. So maybe I should have said it that way, which sounds like, and welcome to the tallest conifer in the whole world. Now that's more accurate. Ladies and gentlemen, California redwood is an amazing species. It grows to a staggering height of 110 meters or about 340 feet, the tallest ones that are found in California. In this video, I'll show you how to identify one because this is widely planted for ornamental purposes in cityscaping. You might find one in your street, alley, along the roadside like this, in your playground and it, to and it is totally worth to take a look. So I'll show you how to identify one. It's really, really easy. You see, this is a coniferous or evergreen tree and its needles are leaf-like, like this, and the leaves are in not circling the branch or not circling the twig. They are on the left and right side of the twig, arranged like so. It's bilateral. Also, the leaves are arranged not only left and right, but in flat, sp flat sprays like so. Okay, that's how the shoots look like when you look at it closely. The small buds are covered in scales at the end of the twigs. They look like so. And the pollen cones are emerging over here. That's how the pollen cones look like. There, they are small, also covered in scales. The old ones are dry and open. This one here, and the new ones are still closed and bulbous. The seed cones, I can see some seed cones up over here. This is how the seed cones look like. They grow at the end of short shoots, like so. They are pendulous, that means they're hanging down. And the cones themselves have uh, 14 to 20 scales. If you take one apart and the seeds are inside. The leaves on the underside here, this is how they look. They, there are leaves along the shoots, like these ones here, uh, how do I show you? Yeah, there. there are leaves growing along the shoots as well. And on the underside of the leaves, you can see that they are silvery. There's a green mid vein on the leaves. The leaves are somewhat pokey and sharp. They do taper to a sharp point, but it's not uncomfortable sharp. But it's, if you hold it like so, it is quite prickly. The bark has this kind of color, red inner bark and gray or blackish outer bark. And this bark right now after these rains is quite soft and squishy. But this big thick bark, it for, it's gonna be over an inch thick and protects the tree in bushfires. And this tree is has an amazing ability to regrow from a stump if it's cut down and, and also stays alive after repeated wildfires. So this is how the tree looks like. Here's some more pollen cones everywhere. These very small bulbous little cones at the ends of the leaves everywhere. And these are just fresh buds here. So this conifer has these needles that are quite leafy. So that's how it looks like. It's an amazing tree. If you, if you spot one or see one, just appreciate it for, for what it is. It's a fantastic, good-looking tree.